Hey there, traders. Todd here. Uh, welcome to the webinar. I do apologize for being a couple minutes late. Had to do a whoo, emergency restart in this computer. Wow, that was scary. Uh, all right. Let me get recording. Sorry, we're going to make up some time here. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. Make sure... Terry, uh, I show you logged in in a unique way where I can't make you a presenter. It says uh, something weird. Terry L. Maybe try to come out and come back in. Uh, it's interesting. Staff. Hmm. Huh. attendees okay nice turnout here guys uh all right here let me go let me go let me go where's terry terry's gonna come out okay terry's my sidekick right hand man uh all right guys so welcome um so questions uh let me just make sure you can see my screen up here uh video audio everything okay just give me a quick all right and maybe tell me where you're you're logged in uh around the world and uh that'll let me know you can hear me what's going on and uh, we will get rolling. Huh. All right. Sounds good. How's everyone doing? Good. Good, good, good. Tell me where you're logged in here, guys. Get your typing fingers out if you could. We're going to make up a little bit of time, Terry L. It says you're in the web. Oh, Princeton, right on. It says parentheses web. Are you logged in somehow differently, uh, Terry L? It's, it's different. Uh, Paris, there's a good one. Dubai, there's another good one. Ohio, Colorado, Germany, Ottawa. We got another Jersey. There we go. Wow. Okay. Waterloo, Ontario, right on. Audio good. Can't see anything. Okay. Edmonton, right on. Brazil. DFW, is that Dallas, Fort Worth? Wow, nice reach. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Italia. All right. Uh, monitor number three is coming at you. Motive wave my way. That should be up here and we'll get rolling here. Uh, okay, guys. So welcome again. Sorry for being a little bit late. Had to do a, a restart for this camera to uh, recognize. We will get rolling now. So guys, we're going to talk about motive wave. Um, ultimately, as I, as I mentioned, um, I think in the, the lead up to this, this presentation, um, this is, um, let me delete this. Let me start this recording. Here we go. Yeah, strange, Terry. I can't make you presenter weird. Um, okay. So this has been a uh, this has been a lot of a lot of preparation coming up into this event. Uh, Motive Wave is uh, is a big big part of my trading. Um, ultimately, what I'm going to show you uh, is is kind of the way we we apply this really cool software um, to the markets. But first, before we jump into that, I'm going to kind of give you the background of you know who I am, the way I approach the markets with Elliott Wave. There's a lot of you know preconceived notions about is Elliott Wave any good? Is it too subjective to be of any use? You know, there's there's a lot we want to talk about. So if that's okay, uh, we'll take a little bit of time. I got about 10 minutes to make up for you for the late start. I will do that. I know if you're, I know outside it's gorgeous and uh, on the East Coast, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this rain that's uh, been all over the, the, the Eastern seaboard of the U.S. is over. Um, so I know you want to get outside, but we got some fun Fun stuff to talk about. Okay. So first, guys, we're going to be talking about live trades. Um, I am a, 
I am a trader. It's the only way I'll kind of approach this uh, subscription research business, uh, trade signal business is I trade live. I have winning trades. I have losing trades, the exact same trades that I um, send out to my subscribers. I put on myself. Um, we win some, we lose some. That's the only way I'm going to present you know, my business to you. I'm never going to say I have all the answers and I'm the the you know God's gift to trading, not the case. We approach trading like a boxing match, guys. I mean, you're gonna get in the in the ring and you're constantly moving, you're protecting yourself, you're giving some jabs. Occasionally you go for a big shot, but you're gonna wind up in your butt a few times throughout the course of the 12 rounds. You get up off your butt, you but you're always protecting yourself, you're always protecting capital, and you try to win the decision at the end of the uh, end of the end of the boxing match. So that's kind of the way we we approach the markets. All right. I will be talking about some winning trades. We just had a huge one yesterday. How many how many of my subscribers are here in house uh, and were involved in that Netflix trade yesterday? It was kind of wild. Uh, oh, north of Norway. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so we're talking about that trade. And, and um, so my kind of holistic approach to Elliot, how it helps me set up trades, how we get context in the markets, how we manage trades. And then I'm going to show you the software that I use to um, accomplish all those goals. All right. Uh, so that's that. Um, best warning, you know, don't risk money. You can't afford to lose, guys. I, you know, that's just terrible. Always trade with a plan. Always accept the risk, uh, not over your overall trading account, but each and every trade, you should have the risk kind of laid out ahead of time. And you got to look at that capital that you have at risk in each trade and say, do I accept the money that's at risk in this trade? And if the answer is yes, okay, fine. All right, then do it. If not, step away. Okay. Andy, 532% return on the trade yesterday. Awesome. 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 Yeah, Terry, you, I don't know, something's up. I can't make, I can make anyone else in the room a presenter. Uh, looks like motive way, or uh, looks like go to webinars, change some things. That's pretty crazy. Okay. Um, all right, so that's that. I'm going to skip the fluff here a little bit. Um, you know, the mental framework I think is really important. Uh, we're going to look at Elliott. We're going to look at Fibonacci, which is the way I like to approach the markets. I'm going to present Motive Wave software, and we're going to look at live markets now, what's happening. Um, obviously, get some pretty good volatility and apply what we've learned into the current market. If you don't know me, real quick, I am the um, I'm the founder of TradingAnalysis.com, my research business. I got a good team uh, behind me now, and um, unfortunately, I'm trying to bring Terry on because he's my right hand right hand man and Go to webinars freaking out on me. I don't know what it's doing. There's like a whole new look to it now. I don't know. So I can't bring him in, unfortunately. Mm. Terry, you know another? Th no, that's not going to work. But anyways, I'm going to, you can see I'm a little nervous without my right hand man. But um, um, anyways, I'm founder of tradinghouses.com, a research business. Uh, I've been doing CNBC now for a good 10 years. Um, so they've, rely on me for almost every show i've been on i think every show on cbc i've probably been on four or five hundred times over the last 10 years i'm a uh, husband dad head of waste disposal in the in the in the house here um and also i don't know if you guys aren't a member of my research business um we're in the process of selling our house so i'm extra extra frazzled extra scattered here uh, we just accepted an offer two days ago on our house here in new jersey and i'm actually moving um, back upstate um, to upstate New York, um, where this business is, my other business, which is the distilling business in Saratoga. So that's going to be kind of fun. And this is going to be a trip. And I'll get on point here in a second. There's a cool office in the distillery. I think I'm going to move my trading office there. So I'm going to have a whole studio and a trading office. I'm going to be working from the distillery. That's going to be interesting. Anyway, um, I don't know. You guys are probably if you've seen my presentations, you've seen this before. The president knows I'm I'm no I'm no angel. Um, we did we did have a reception at Trump National, and this is Jeff, my best buddy, crushing me in the best man speech. And Trump and Melania were in the corner just shaking their heads, like, "Who is this insane man that is getting married in our in our place?" So 
Trump uh, hopefully is not going to deport me, but I don't think he will. Um, all right, so let's let's get into it. That's me. So I'm a trader, family man, CBC guy, and uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much me. Booze business. Um, so let's talk about cavemen. Um, just kind of a, an opening here, just talking about the framework um, that I like to approach the market with. So cavemen were terrible traders, right? Back, they would have been terrible traders back thousands of years ago, um, before our brain had evolved. You know, these guys would, you know, try to ensure their survival based on their instincts. And, you know, if they went into an unfamiliar area, like behind a, a tree or in a cave, you know, they couldn't reason through, their brains had not developed enough to reason through a strategy to go in and attack while protecting themselves. So what they relied on is their instinct, which is emotion, which is fear, okay? Fear then generates adrenaline, which pumps you up and gets you strong. That's how they helped to ensure their survival was that fear mechanism. Fear, adrenaline, aggression helped their survival. This mechanism has not evolved in our brain. Okay, when we face uncertainty, this caveman mechanism of uncertainty does take over. Okay, so what happens is the decision making process when we're calm and when we don't have a lot in the line, like capital or our survival, you know, if things, if it's just a simple decision, you know, not being generated or influenced by emotion, it's made in the front part of the brain, the neocortex, which is the rational center of the brain. The more uncertain the decision or the more on the line, the more that decision is shifted to the back of the brain, which is the limbic system, which is where emotions are generated. They've actually studied this, that when you know a couple subjects who are put under stress were forced to make decisions, they saw the brainwave activity being sent to the back of the mind. So your mind is hardwired to make decisions in the face of uncertainty, a very challenging process. The less information you had, about trying to make a decision about what's going to happen in the future, the more erratic our brains are hardwired to become. In trading, that's that's a problem, okay? You've got to learn how to control that caveman tendency in your brain. And for me, it's Elliot. It's Fib. It's coming up with a, it's using a tried interest, a try, how do I say that? A tried and tested methodology that helps you identify trade setups in advance. And if that trade plan doesn't work, you're going to have a backup plan. You always have a contingency plan, a way to escape. And if you go into an uncertain decision knowing your primary plan of action might not work and you need to have a backup plan to minimize any risk or damage that, uh, that you might sustain, you can go into that decision confident and you can quiet that caveman tendency and begin to think rationally, okay? So that's really what, that's how I've basically shaped my entire trading career, which is 20 years now around Elliott Wave is because it helps me to quiet my brain. Obviously, you can tell I'm a pretty excitable guy. I really enjoy doing this and working with you guys. I wish we we're all in one big room right now rather than behind this, this computer screen. But um, you know, for me, that's how I quiet the tendency to overtrade, revenge trade, take too many trades, and really trade the market with a plan. Okay. So that's Elliott. Okay, and let's just talk about this quickly. Um, I love this, Pat. I love this slide. You know, a lot of people will say, well, let me get rid of the camera here. Um, a lot of people will say, well, Ali, it's too subjective. It's no good. There's too many possibilities. Okay. Well, if that's the case, once you take your basic patterns of technical analysis, triangle, head and shoulders, parallel channel, bull flag, wedge, broadening pattern, double bottom, and once you just realize that all Elliott Wave is, is a way to interpret these very common and well-accepted technical patterns. We just assign different values, expected values to each leg of the pattern. So the triangle becomes an Elliott triangle with expected length, depth for each wave. Head and shoulders becomes a three, four, five ABC top. So there's the head and shoulders. It's just LE wave patterns. All you do is you're expecting is you're figuring out how far each leg of the pattern should last. That's going to help you uh, plan your trade accordingly. Okay, so it gives you context to know where you are in the market, and that is so important. Um, I'm pretty proud to put this out there. Um, 
back in September when we were coming up on the 30 year anniversary of the 1987 crash, um, I approached Elliott Wave International, who is, you know, they're they're the oldest and most recognized market forecasting company out there. Um, on the 30 year anniversary, I reached out to Bob Prector, who's the founder, and I said, Bob, we've met once before. Can I come down and interview you? And he said, hesitantly, he said, yeah, yeah, I think you can. So I came down. Long story short, this very good relationship has developed over the last six or eight months. And now I am not a partner because we're not legally bind, bounded, legally joined, but um, they're promoting my business quite heavily because um, they selected me over a, a quite a, a large number of Elliott Wave traders who actually do put real positions to work in the market with real live capital. And they're featuring me as their trading um, kind of go-to resource. So they promote me quite heavily and had a great relationship with them. It's been a huge boost for my business. Um, so that's been awesome. So happy about that. As you guys know, I go on TV, I talk about the different um, technical stuff, but there's always Elliott Wave behind it. I can't really say it because most of the CNBC audience is not going to be up on the Elliott Wave stuff. So it's cool. Like when I do this kind of stuff and, and when I do my work with Elliott Wave International, it's like I'm free to be me. You know, I can just like it's almost like coming out of the closet. I don't care. It's me. Deal with it. Right. I'm not coming out of the closet. I'm married. But I think you get my point. Right. I'm just free to be me. And I love doing Elliott Wave. I love getting behind these charts. And I love just just putting on my headphones or cranking Sonos down here in the basement and looking at price patterns that others just can't see unless you don't, unless you have that context afforded by Elliot. And Motive Waves is a software that I've used for like, I don't know, seven or eight years now. Back to Elliott Wave here. Let's continue this discussion on the wave principle just a little bit. A lot of people get very afraid. Uh, they think it's like trying to learn Mandarin or Chinese, and it's really not that hard. The problem is too many people in the trading world want to, you know, they want to have a formulaic approach to making money. And unfortunately, that's incredibly marketable, and a lot of people will fall for it but it's just not reality. It's not. The secret to making money is to be able to know yourself, identify your strengths, identify your weaknesses, moderate those, monitor them, and then just basically be able to get kicked in the stomach a lot of times and get up and keep going, okay? Trading is you're going to get kicked in the stomach many times, but you just got to get up and keep going. It's intestinal fortitude. So you got to be able to know yourself, monitor yourself, have a good methodology, stick to it, get context of where you are in the markets to help determine how aggressively to position size, and then just keep pushing forward. It's intestinal fortitude that makes you successful. There's no secret. There's no black box. Okay. There might be a few out there, but they probably cost a few billion dollars to program or a few hundred million to program. You and I don't have the resources to do that. Okay. Um, and it's arguable if they actually, if it actually can be done. Okay. So it, the wave principle is it takes a lot of flack because people don't like to admit that they have to quiet that caveman tech uh, caveman tendency they have to trade with eq which is emotional intelligence and realize that you can't predict the future and you don't have to stress out about predicting the future you don't need a very objective a plus b equals c methodology to trade the markets it's just not reality i could sit here and sell you a service or sell you a formula or sell you a black box and say here it is Pl put the pl put plug the program in let it go make a ton of money it's disingenuous it's not based in reality and it's a way just to take your money i'm here to tell you sorry guys and i hope nobody gets offended but you got to be willing to get kicked in the balls a few times and you know that's trading okay you gotta love it so just realize you don't need to be able to predict the future okay you just have to know where you are now you have to have context you have an have to have an idea of where the market may be headed put that capital to work with the knowledge and the safety that you don't need to be able to predict the future in order to be a profitable trader you don't okay and that took me a while to figure out 
So, and I'm not addressing questions as much as I would because I am trying to make up that 10 minutes from the beginning. So I, I and I love to interact back and forth. Um, Terry, let me try one more time. What did we have, or uh, I keep saying it, go to webinars acting a little crazy here, but let me just try one more time. You got this question mark next to your name and I don't know why. No, no, it's weird. Okay. Um, yeah, it's weird. So Elliott Wave is the single best form of market analysis for many reasons. For, for me, the most important reason it gives you market context and a battle plan. Okay. It helps you to understand your position on the battlefield in the capital markets. Helps to formulate your primary battle plan. If your well-laid plan fails, you have a backup. And that backup plan is going to help minimize your injuries and preserve your fighting power, which is capital. When you're in a position when your primary and alternate battle plans align, suggesting you should take the same course of action in terms of a direction you're going to head or tactics to use, your conviction in your actions increase and you allocate more resources to the attack. In other words, you position size up. I think trading is like going to battle and you always head into battle with plan A and plan B. So if you're base, if you're here in America, and I think a good percent are, you guys should know the Battle of Saratoga. Okay. Obviously, we have a Saratoga theme here. I'm pretty excited. You guys should know the Battle of Saratoga, 1777, is ranked as one of the top 15 most um, important or significant battles of the history of our planet. It was the turning point of the Revolutionary War. It was that victory, okay, over General Burgoyne, who was the British general by Horatio Gates and Benedict Arnold, which decided to bring, helped France decide to enter the war, which allowed us to win the Revolutionary War and gain our independence from Britain. So George Washington sent Benedict Arnold to help support a worn down Horatio Gates. And there were several battles around Saratoga. And basically we got to victory because Washington was realizing that, that um, Horatio Gates was, was losing. Okay. The first battle of Saratoga, there was two main battles. He was losing. So, so this was plan B. This was George Washington's alternate plan. And he had a plan. If things didn't go according to plan, he was going to go. And his answer was Benedict Arnold. So Benedict Arnold came in to help Horatio Gates, and that battle is ultimately what decide, what um, had Burgoyne surrender, and that's really what turned the tide of the Revolutionary War. So it's George Washington's having a backup plan that allowed America to be independent. Okay, and as you can see, I'm working on the on the marketing too, in the in the distillery and the whiskey, and you can see where I'm going with that one. So I'm very excited with the with the with the whiskey and. As a side, you know, I'm not trying to jump ship from trading. I'm always going to trade. But uh, craft spirits in America are in a huge bull market right now. So uh, it's kind of fun. Anyway, so that's that's Elliot. And we're going to talk more about that in, in terms of the Motive Wave software and Elliot of how to have a plan A, plan B, have a contingent plan. Um, thanks on uh, Typo and Victory. Um, yeah, it was it was done late late last night so there's going to be some typos it's fresh off the press guys um and it <laughs> as i said it was a crazy week we accepted offer on our house we we got our offer accepted on the house in saratoga we've got attorney review going on right now we've got lawyers and realty agents and oh my god it's madness right now um, so just some, some prominent guys talking about Elliot, um, Robin Wilkin, ex global head of, um, technicals at JP LA principle provides a probability framework as to when, as to when to enter a particular market, where to get out at a profit or loss. Jordan Go Kotick, who is the global head at Barclays investment bank, who's actually at Elliot wave international now. And I just did an interview with him. R.N. Elliott's discovery was well ahead of its time. In fact, over the last decade or two, many prominent academics have embraced Elliott's idea and have been aggressively advocating the existence of financial market fractals, which is the basis of Elliott Wave. Paul Tudor Jones, my personal hero, you should have read about him in, in Market Wizards. Um, who does he listen to? Bob Prechter, who is the head of Elliott Wave International, is the, is the champion. Prechter is the best because he's the ultimate market opportunist. Opportunist, and he says, and um, Jack Schwager, who wrote 
market wizards came back and said, what do you mean opportunists? The reason that Prechter and Elliott Wave has been so successful is the Elliott Wave theory allows one to create incredibly favorable risk to reward opportunities. The same reason I attribute a lot of my own success to the Elliott Wave approach. And if you don't know who Paul Tudor Jones is, pretty much think Bobby Axelrod in Billions Showtime. It's a mix between Stevie Cohen and Paul Tudor Jones. Okay, Tudor is worth a few billion dollars and he's a discretionary trader and he is on record as being an elite wave guy. Okay, um, one of my favorites is uh, a friend, uh, Andrew Baptiste. He was the global head of technical analysis at JP Morgan Investment Bank. This is Drew. Um, he's my neighbor. He lives right over here. Um, he uh, He's a trip. He's an investment banker, but he also played in a reggae band. And this is him with my two, my sons, Jake and Brody. Um, he's a, he's a, he's wild. He's such a good dude. Uh, Drew says the wave principle is a simple rule-based methodology, three rules that allows the trader to dissect the mindset of market participants for which allows for defined, attractive, positive risk reward trading, a game plan. Guys, everyone who I just quoted here was saying Elliott wave is not a formulaic A plus B equals C way calculation to figure out where the market's going. It's a discretionary framework giving you context to figure out where your trade is right and where it's wrong. Too many people, I think, approach Elliott as a forecasting methodology. I don't. I approach it as a trading methodology. And I think there's a subtle but key difference. So Elliott Wave is a catalog of market patterns that gives you context. FIB basically helps you figure out where those catalogs of patterns and all the different waves within those patterns should start and stop. And that's hugely beneficial if you have an idea of where a wave or a market trend or correction should start or stop. That's how you start to formulate a trade plan. Some say Elliot's too subjective. Unfortunately, they're looking for the formula to, to success in life, but there is no, you've got to find it from within here. All right, so let's talk about Motive Wave a little bit. And um, and again, guys, I see all these cool comments coming through and I love to engage. Usually I do, um, but again, I'm just trying to get you guys out of here. I'm trying to get you this key information. I know a lot of you are interested in this in this this new offering that we have, but I gotta, gotta warm you up here. Gotta get you excited, remind you guys why we work so hard at this crazy approach to the market, which is Elliott. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about Elliott. You know, all good waves, all good uh, market trends at all degrees of trend will break down into the five wave move. Okay, so first rule is number one. First rule is the first correction can't go more than 100% of the prior trend wave. You've got to retrace 100% or less. Okay, you can't make a new low or else it's just not a new correction. It's not a correction. It's a new downtrend. Okay, uh, next rule is wave four. This corrective wave cannot break below the low of this corrective wave, okay? Now there's subtle differences of the two overlapping and there's very specific instances when it happens and when it doesn't happen, but the main rule is four, can't break below the low of two. And finally, your trend waves are one, three, and five. Three cannot be the shortest. It can be the middle length, or the longest, but it can't be the shortest of one, three, and five. That's it, okay? Best thing you can do is just take a screenshot of this, and if you wanna just put it up next to your trading computer as you're counting trend waves, that's, that's fine. That's great. So again, I'm just gonna hit you with those rules again. You can't make a new low in this correction because that's not a correction, that's a new downtrend. Wave four cannot break below the low of two. And I know some of you in the back of your mind are saying, well, I thought the rule was four can't enter wave two. And there's some Elliott wave resources out there. Unfortunately, on even on stockcharts.com, who I really like, I love those guys, but they've got it wrong. They say four can't enter two. It all depends on what the higher degree wave is. Sometimes it can, sometimes it can't, but there's very specific situations when it could and and it should and other times where it can't okay so the the unbreakable rule is four can't break below two but in certain situations the two corrections have to be completely removed for each other and i can explain it to you in about 10 minutes wave three can't be the shortest wave okay 
Uh, yes, we are recording this. All right. Uh, corrective waves. So we just did trend waves one, three, and five. Your corrective waves are going to retrace a percent of the prior trend wave. Okay. So corrective waves trend in the opposite direction of the trend of one larger degree. See what trend, what the trend is, is relative. Okay. When somebody says to you, what's the trend of the market? Uh, they kind of don't know what they're talking about. And that's not a well-formed question because trend is relative. What's it relative to, to? It's relative to what's important to you. And what's important to you is the time frame in which you're trading. The time frame in which you're trading will be will determine as to how much capital you want to risk in a trade. Generally, the more money you want to risk in a trade, the larger the time frame you're trading. So trend is relative to you and to the amount of capital you're risking on a trade. So you need to determine what you're trading for, how much you're going to risk on a trade. That then determines based on volatility and realized range in a market, what time frame you should be on. And at that point, can you then um, answer the question, what's the trend of the market, right? So trend is relative. So the corrections are labeled with letters, A, B, C correction. And then the trend waves are labeled with numbers or Roman numeral, one, two, three, four, five, okay? So there's only three corrective waves in the Elliott wave sequence, a flat, a zigzag, and a triangle, okay? Now, you can draw them by hand if you want, but there's within the motive wave software, it's very easy to label these, to learn these. I'm not going to go into the specifics, but I'm just saying it might look a little daunting, but within motive wave, it's, it's incredibly easy. Now, corrections are super important. Because corrections, I think, are where a lot of your trading should happen, all right? And I know that's counterintuitive to what a lot of people think, but um, corrections, the idea of trading, guys, is to identify the trend, which is down, establish a short position as close to the end of the correction as possible, and expectation that the downtrend is going to continue. On the other side, if the trend in the market's up, your job is to find a correction and establish a long position counter to the trend of one larger degree, which is up. You want to be long in here as close to the end as here for expectation of the move to go up. A lot of my trend trades will originate here. And if I'm trading options, some of my favorite trades, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit, are in the corrections, which when we're trading options, selling option premium with butterflies or on condors or something like that, expecting the market to go sideways and collect the decay in the options. So corrections, I think are really important. If you're an option seller, you're expecting a sideways market or you're an option buyer expecting a range market. Okay. So corrections are important. FIB will help you identify where the correction might end to get you involved in the next trend. All right, so the FIB is going to help you figure out how far a correction should go. You have a little bit of studying if you don't know what I'm talking about with the three Elliott Wave corrections. Motive Wave has them color coded for you. I know what the shallow Fibonacci target is, I know what the ideal Fibonacci target is, and I know what the outer extreme Fibonacci target is. Motive wave knows with fib where you are in the wave count. So it'll label the waves where you expect the correction to end to give you a pretty solid idea of when the trend might begin. And if it doesn't happen, you start breaking above the orange level, probably time to get out of that trade and contain that risk. All right. So each wave, each of the corrective waves, each of the corrective structures, which are flat zigzag and triangles, have different Fibonacci levels that will come into play. Again, the green ones that come preloaded in Motive Wave software are your ideals. Blues are the very shallow or very early targets. And the orange ones are the very later, latter um, levels that you don't want to see those be exceeded. Okay. So there's two parts from my point of view of how a trade comes together, which is price and time. Okay. You've got to have an idea of how far a market is trended and how far a market will retrace. That's going to be a study that is done up here on the y-axis, which is that. And it's also going to be done on the x-axis. How much time was consumed in the decline? 
versus how much time would be consumed in the retracement. So it's the combination of price and time which help you to identify very solid entries in the market, okay? Let me just take a step back here for a sec. This webinar assumes that you have some kind of working knowledge of Elliot or at least an interest or desire to learn. I can't teach you Elliot in 45 minutes, okay? I've got to just make sure you're interested or have a working knowledge, show you the path that I would like you to follow if you're interested in this kind of methodology and then um, and then just go do it, okay? So this is how you're going to begin setting up your corrections and expectation of the new trends. Or if you expect the market to go sideways, you can put on option trades and just collect the decay within the framework of the expected duration of the correction. If you think the correction is going to last this long, you can put option uh, short premium theta positive trades on and just collect the collect the premium inside the correction. So corrections are key to trading. Okay. All right. Let me get off of that. Okay. So as I said, components of a trade are pattern, which is given to you by Elliot. Time, which is Fibonacci time studies, price, which is Fibonacci price studies, and then only needs an entry trigger, reversal or continuation pattern. Okay, those are the key components to a trade. Really, that's it. So, let me just take a a, a breath here for a minute. Um, we did a big trade yesterday, as I mentioned. This doesn't always happen. Okay, but subscribers. Um, of the service were very happy. I mean, I could show you the Facebook, I'll show you after, but but basically Netflix, okay? Netflix had been has been rallying quite strongly. The sentiment is extremely bullish out there for Netflix. And it's one of my stocks. I don't know if you saw the CNBC flash crash or CNBC um, stock draft. Um, I was team flash crash Gordon. It was my second year on. I brought the real flash Gordon to, uh, to the CBC studio. So him and I were on a team, Sam Jones. You ever saw the movie Ted? It was kind of fun. Um, so Netflix was one of our picks, Netflix, Nvidia, and Bitcoin. So I really want Netflix to go up because I want Flash Gordon and I to win. Flash Gordon Sr. and Flash Gordon Jr. <laughs> so I got to set that bullish sentiment or bullish desire aside and say, well, okay, well, what's going on in Netflix? I have two counts heading into last week that said we're up against resistance. And before I go into the specifics of Netflix, again, trading is a battle. And just like General Washington trying to figure out how to pull a victory out of upstate New York, you know, having plan A, plan B, you know, you've got to come into a trade or a battle with two plans. I always have two wave counts heading in. Elliott Wave is not an objective form of analysis. It's not a formulaic approach. It's a beautiful mix of art and science. You're trying to paint a picture. And I forgot to do this, but I wanted to get one of my kids' jigsaw puzzles to further illustrate this. When you put a jigsaw puzzle together, you don't just follow. It's not like paint by paint by numbers and just do this, 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 and this, and then, and then you, you've created a picture. you got to take a piece of the jigsaw puzzle, turn it, see if it works there, see if it works there. Okay, that one fits. Then you take the next piece, turn it, try it this way, try it this way. Yup, that one fits. Trading is just like putting a jigsaw puzzle together. You got to try a bunch of different combinations before you get the right one, okay? And your job as a trader is to minimize the time spent in a incorrect position of a jigsaw puzzle piece. As, as soon as you see it doesn't work, nope, that's not right. Let's go to the right position. You're constantly just feeling your way through the market. So I always have two wave counts. A lot of people will say that's a disadvantage or a downfall of Elliott. I totally disagree and say it's one of the strongest attributes of Elliott is that it does give you plan A. And if plan A doesn't work, you retreat, you reorganize your forces, and you enact plan B. You minimize losses, and then you attack from a different angle. That's how you have to approach trading. Nobody in the world will ever convince me otherwise. So Netflix, I saw two possibilities of Netflix. This is on June 1st, okay? Coming out of a triangle wave four, I had a post-triangle wave four, I had a uh, green one of five, which is up and off the screen, two, three. 
here's an opportunity where I just mentioned where, okay, I think we're starting to move into a way four here. Netflix sentiment is very bullish. A lot of people were saying Netflix is just going to explode up to $400. I was like, all right, you know, I really want that to happen, but let's kind of temper that enthusiasm because we're at a point where Fib and Elliot will tell us we need to stay inside of this range right around the 360 mark. This right here was my primary, actually, no, this was the alternate count. This was the alt count. This was the primary. This one said the triangle ended in later May, right here, where this one says we we entered the uh, we exited the triangle in early May. Okay, this one says triangle in like May seventh or something. This one said triangle complete May twenty first. Not exactly sure, but this wave count said we have one, two, three, four, five into a bunch of resistance around three sixty to three seventy fib resistance, and at that point we're going to head into a correction. Both wave counts this is my primary this was my alt both of them said three hundred and sixty dollars would be resistance both counts i have conviction in that trade so let me just kind of play this forward here i'll show you the first one right here we went right up into resistance and this was like all the way into yesterday. That fast forward to June 9th, which was today. Okay, so we rallied up, held resistance, sold off. Obviously, the same thing happened over in this count. It's going to play out. We go up into the wave three top. We stop, and then we kind of hang out. A very small little move, right? Just going from, let me start from the beginning. Starting from 353, looking to go up to 363. Okay, we got up to like 370, but then we backed down to 360 in Netflix. Doesn't look like a big move because I have us all the way over here on the 195 minute chart. But with that information, that 360 should be resistance. Um, I put the trade on with our subscribers June 1st. I did a butterfly. We paid 23 cents for this butterfly. It's like buying a stock at 23 bucks. Um, I had good size on. I had a 50 lot on uh, for me, and um, and then just yesterday, this is right off the right off the, hot off the press. Um, basically, we sold the butterfly for about $1.70. These are all my exits um, on the way out. And the trade, you know, I put $560 on a 50 lot in and I made 2,650 um, bucks. I had customers who had better entries than, uh, exits than I did. Um, but that's going into account saying, I don't know what the wave count is, but plan A and plan B, which were very easily allowed me to, to, to play out or to be displayed on motive wave here, we're saying we're going to have 360 resistance either way. And the butterfly is was done to take advantage of a little bit of a move up, but we should stop at that 360, which is the body of the butterfly. If you're not an options trader and you don't understand this, don't worry about it. It's basically just having context to say we should go from 350 up to around 360 and stop really, really um, beneficial. Okay. So, you know, I mean, that's like five times on your money. I had some members who made seven times on their money, like, and that was the max loss for me. I had 560 bucks at risk to make 2,650. And that was in a week. Um, Igor, good question there. 195 minute, uh, real simple. It's just a half day chart. So uh, stock market day is 360 minutes. You cut that in half. That's 195. I like the swing trade on the 195. Okay. And again, I'm so sorry to ignore all these questions. It's kill I'll hang out and answer all these questions after. Let me just get through this content. Uh, uh, it pains me to not, to not engage these questions. I love it. Um, so it gives you context, right? Through my years as a prop trader, I learned that very few home run trades ever popped up from nowhere. Best trades were thoroughly researched ahead of time through the lens of Elliott. Um, as mentioned, your best work is done when the markets are closed. I actually didn't say that yet. I love doing my late wave analysis when things are quiet. When you have money in the line and prices are ticking, you're not going to do your you're not going to do very good work. Come down, put your music on, bury yourself in your laptop, your trading computer, and you're going to see turning points that others don't see when you're applying Elliott. When the market opens the next day, most of the work is done. Just execute. All right. Um, what happens when a trade plan falls apart? You have plan Plan B. Okay. I'm going to skip this slide. I've already made that point. Um, you guys might remember this quote, which was only 
eight years, nine years after the Battle of Saratoga, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. Okay. Don't revenge trade. Okay. Don't revenge trade. If you, your primary plan falls apart, the, the whole idea of having a backup plan is to minimize the likelihood of an emotional response. When you emotionally respond to a trade plan going wrong, that's when you can do account damage to yourself. That's when you can really kind of try to swing back at the market and get revenge. Okay, retreat, accept the fact that today the plan didn't go to work, minimize the damage, and act your EQ, which is your emotional intelligence, not your intellectual intelligence, your emotional intelligence to say, that's okay. I'm trying to predict the future. I'm not going to get pissed off, except you can't control the future and move on to the next trade. You're going to be wrong a lot. Just be wrong for a little. Okay. Took me a long time. Ellie Wave can shorten the learning curve. Revenge trading is a dish best served cold. Okay. Freshly trading after a stop loss is usually not a good idea. Take a little break, step back, and like Uma Thurman, then come back and get your revenge. So enlightenment, trade with a plan. Okay, using the wonderful tools of Elliott and Fib, we have expected starting and stopping points of trends and corrective waves. You can rest easy knowing you don't need to be able to predict what's going to happen tomorrow. Only have a plan A and plan B and simply enact your favorite plan. If it doesn't work, that's fine. You don't need to stress about being able to predict the future because you can't do it. Can't be done. You'll have confidence here heading into a trade with a well-executed plan. So my favorite weapon of choice to trade, Elliot, is obviously Motive Wave. Okay, Motive Wave software, let me just tell you the story. Um, this was like eight years ago, and I had actually written a, a plan, and I'd submitted to eSignal and TradeStation. And I said, guys, you got to have some kind of tool on the platform that allows you to very easily drop the Elliot Wave labels on a chart. eSignal did it, which was called Advanced Get. Um, I think there was a lot of kind of fault in the calculation of the waves. It wasn't based on price structures, based on momentum. So I wrote something to them and they're like, yeah, they didn't really listen to me back then. I'm like, okay. And then uh, I was in Vegas and a customer sent me an email, said, check out this new Motive Wave program. And I looked at it, downloaded it in my Vegas hotel room. I didn't leave. I was supposed to be out in Vegas partying. I was a lot younger than I am now. And I was like, oh my God, this software has just been sent from the trading gods. Okay. It was exactly what I'd, not exactly, it was much better than what I wrote up in my trading plan, my plan for eSignal and TradeStation, and they, they never did anything with it. So let's just go and let me show you the software. Okay. Um, LE Wave labels. Um, you know, it's very simple and easy to draw wave patterns. You know, in, in the past, if, you know, any other software, if you're going to go and, and do an LE wave count, you got to change it. Wave one. You got to drag the label down. You got to bring the new one up. You got to change it. Okay. So it's going to be two. Here's one. And then you got to draw this one. You got to edit it. And let's say... You, gotta, you wanna change the font or the size. You gotta go properties, and this is Motive Wave, but this is the way it is on all software. Okay, you gotta change it to green, and then you gotta go to the, and then I just made a mistake, and I just blew up my whole wave count. The simplest and easiest way to approach Elliott Wave on the Motive Wave software is why don't you just go over here to Elliott Wave, pull over Impulse, and why don't you just snap them right into place. There's one. <laughs> Just snap them right into place. There's one. There's two. There's three, four, five. Okay. Very simple. Now, you know, wave two needs to be an ABC correction, which is very common. Why don't you just right click on it, decompose as a correction like this? Right click, decompose, correction. Done. If you want to move the wave labels around, very simple, okay? You can save so much time just by the manual drawing of Ellie. And this is the most basic functionality of Motive Wave, okay? So there, that just took me about 20 seconds where it would take me about, I don't know, five minutes to draw and adjust the fonts of all these labels right here, okay? So that's the basic. All right. Not only 
are you doing it on one time frame? The way that you're going to save a lot of time with Elliot is, let's say I need to make an adjustment, okay? And instead of making wave two here, I think wave two is going to extend. I'm going to drop it out here into June. Did you see what this count just did? This one just got pushed out into the future, okay? Every wave label that you have on multiple time frames will also be adjusted. I'm going to break this down into an ABC correction. Look, the 195-minute chart, which is right here, adjusted it. The daily chart reflects it. Let's say, you know what? I think I need to put my A wave here. It changed over here in the daily. Every time frame that you have connected, weekly, daily, 195-minute, and 60-minute, all reflects the change. Let's say you want to change the degree. Watch this. I'm going to go from minute up to minor. It changed the degree on all the different connected charts. It's a huge, huge time saver. Okay, huge. And Mitch, that's a great question. Can you compare and contrast LA Wave capabilities of TradingView? That was on my outline to do for this presentation. I didn't have time to do it. This right here is the reason, one of the reasons that it doesn't it doesn't work. You can't the hide and um, show features on TradingView for Elliot is very clunky. I've spent a good year trying to make it work. It just doesn't have the same functionality. It's really, really clunky. You can do single chart Elliot wave analysis fine, but to sync them and also do the hide and show capabilities to keep charts clean, like, like look, let's do this. All right, we're going to do that. Decompose, I'm just going to get some labels on the chart, decompose correction, decompose as an impulse, and you're going to, you can learn how to do all this. Okay, so let's say, all right, I want more detail in the 60 minute than I want on the 195 minute than I want on the daily. Let's say, okay, I don't want to see this orange degree or this green degree. I can just very quickly hide this and below so I can see only the blue degree here on the daily, 195 minute, there's the blue. I just want to see the green and below, okay? So you can very quickly hide and show the different degrees of the wave count for clarity on multiple time frames. And I'm just hotkeying it right now. I'm holding the control key down, up arrow and down arrow to very quickly hide and show the different degrees of the trend. So it's a great way to stay organized. If you're all the way down on a one minute chart, um, you really wanna see a lot of detail. But if you're all the way up here on the weekly, I don't need to see all this. So you can very quickly hide, okay? Let me stay, and there's a lot more things I wanna say to compare against TradingView, which I think is a great package. I like it. If you're brand new and you're not ready to spend the money for, for Motive Wave, start there. But once you get proficient in Elliot, you have to make the change. You absolutely have to, to become proficient. So you can quickly label charts with Elliot Wave, quickly do analysis of Elliot Wave, okay? Now, let me just show you, you can actually do, let me get back to mine. You can actually do automated Elliott Wave analysis. Okay, it does have automated analysis um, built in. Okay, and I'm just I just randomly picked. In fact, just to show, somebody type in a symbol they want me to look at, and I'll just so it's just you know I'll, I'll do automated analysis for you. And while somebody's typing a symbol in. Um, I don't want you to fully rely on the automated analysis, okay? I want you to have a knowledge. Type some symbols in, guys. You awake? What symbols do you want me to take a look at? Um, right. Unfortunately, Mike, uh, GE already have a count, but let's uh, let's do it. All right, so let me just go Control Shift W, Elliott Wave. Okay, and then if we right click, decompose one level, decompose. Yes. All right, there we go. So it's giving us, it just did automated wave counts. 
It just did automated wave counts. Okay, let me throw, uh, let me just pick some one of those. Obviously, GS. Uh, control shift W for wave. All right, let me just go decompose one level. Let's go two levels. There we go. Okay, it does LE wave analysis for you. It also will scan, and I have all sorts of scans set up. You can look for wave four scans. You can look for wave three scans. Um, I have just one that I use often, but there's a bunch of different scans you can look at right here. Give it a name, type, Elliott Wave, you go next, you pull in your symbols, and then there's about, I'm not going to go through this whole process, but you can scan for them. I don't want you to heavily, heavily rely on that because I want you to learn how to do it by hand. So you can scan. Another thing you can do with it is it helps you not make mistakes. Okay, it's like somebody looking, it's like me looking over your shoulder. Let me just look at something. Uh, all right, let's say, okay, here's an example. Let's say I think this is a five wave decline in Goldman, and I go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, what did I do wrong? Wave three is, uh, right, wave three can't be the shortest wave. Okay, can't do that. What about this? What if we, I'm just looking for an example. Okay, what if we said, all right, I think that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. Uh, what did I do wrong? Wave four breaks into the territory of wave one. All right, so that's not right. I that That means I need to make an adjustment here. And then if I do it properly, it's going to not give me a warning signal. OK, so it keeps you um, on the right track. Slideshow from current slide. OK, um, wave three, um, it auto decomposed. I showed you that it does do automatic wave label. All degrees shift that adjust on link charts showing uh, saving all kinds of time. All right. If you think that, you know, let's say. That's a three wave move. We'll snap that in. Watch this. Those of you who know Elliott Wave, this degree that I'm looking at is called the minuet. An A, B, C zigzag should be a five, three, five. But this degree is a smaller degree. Right now, it's labeled minuet, and this one is labeled minuet you can't have them in the same levels because these are supposed to be the member or subwaves of the higher degree. So look what happens when I just snap this into place. It changes them. It immediately demoted them down to sub-minuet. Okay, so you can qu very quickly go up and down the label table. This is how you get context. You know what degree of trend you're looking at. All right, that's very, very helpful. Decompose as an impulse. Let's say I want to shift the entire degree. I want to go on. A, I want to go up a degree. You can very quickly label all the labels, and not only did it do it on that time frame, it did it on all synced time frames. Every chart that is synced at different uh, degrees is already done. It's hugely, hugely time saving. All right. Uh, what else do we have? What other notes? Uh, slide show from current slide. Um, okay, the other thing it does is it has FIB already built in. All right, it has FIB built in. If I just click on it and I go ratio analysis, which is FIB, let's say I want to study B wave. Ratio analysis, B versus A, I want to, I want to study, come on back. I want to know how far B goes compared to A. Blue is your shallow. Black is the... Either one, there's it's not too shallow or too too deep. Six one eight's ideal, which is green, and the orange is too deep. Okay, so it's right in between shallow and ideal. So that's a good B wave right there. You can also very quickly do a Fibonacci analysis of C versus A. And what's interesting is if you're trying to be short Goldman, 
You might say, well, we held the 61% projection of A versus C, but we're not at the green, which is ideal at 358. So if you start to get a little bit of a bid, Motive Wave is telling you you could have a move up to 358 in, in Goldman because that's the green, that's the ideal. All right. Um, okay. Again, let me um, I, 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 let me just get this up. Uh, we're coming up in the hour mark, so I want to get people out of here, but I'll stick around for questions. And again, I, I don't want to leave you. Now, here's another reason why Motive Wave is so good. This is the cloud sharing program. Motive, uh, go to webinar for some reason. I can't bring Terry in. He, I know he's chomping at the bit. He helped me so hard with this to show you. Motive Wave has the ability to leverage the cloud. And what that means is I, as I'm saving my work, okay, as I'm saving my work, let's say I want to make an adjustment to Tesla. All right, I need to lay out my plan of action for Tesla for the week. Uh, that's going to be one. That's two. This is three. Let me see what ideal wave three target is. Oh, we're actually already at the ideal target, which is green. That's good to know. Actually, I didn't even know that. Uh, we're going to look for a wave four pullback. Okay. So I actually think we might be into a wave four pullback here now in Tesla. We shouldn't go below 309. 315 is the ideal. Let me stretch this out just a touch. Choose ratio. Let's where's the hundred percent. Okay. That's the wave four zone in Tesla. So we actually might be into a little bit of a of a sideways move in Tesla. It's actually really good to know. I might trade this. Time analysis 4v2. So we could be sideways until June 17th. So we have another week of sideways in Tesla. So we could do some some weekly options there uh, to take advantage of, of that move. So anyways, so that's my trade. I literally just came up with my trade plan in Tesla. So I'm going to go like this. File chart, save to. As I hit this button right here, everybody who has Motive Wave and is enrolled in the repository program, as I just hit save, right now, that wave count just went all over the world. Everybody who has Motive Wave open right now just got my Tesla count. It just appeared on their screens. It's unreal. This is a game changer for LE Wave analysts. It took me five years to be really good at Elliott Wave. I would do my analysis by hand on eSignal and I would wait for the investment bank analysts that come out with their LA wave analysis. I'd have to wait for the report, which would take several days. Go and look and see what they did, how they updated their wave counts compared to how I did. It, there was a multiple day lag each time I was to get LA wave feedback. With the technology now, you can get instant feedback. So not only are all of my LA wave analysis counts, linked to all of my sub accounts everyone who is who has the motive wave software and who's enrolled in this program but i can also just go like this file backup i can send you my entire workspace okay i go like this browse i'm saving on dropbox today's the june 9th workspace done everybody who is in my program i do we just did a new goldman sachs analysis as we did live Everyone can now go and download my exact workspace. I do it every single day. You can get a fresh copy of my workspace with all the symbols, all the fresh analysis. As I'm updating the wave count through the day, I'm go. I'll go like this. I'm going to update. Here's S and P for uh, for tomorrow or for uh, for Monday. I do think that's going to be a B wave. Alt Shift Four. How long would wave four time analysis four v two? Where's the ideal? Okay, actually we're getting a little late in the correction. Okay, so I, we got to look for a little bit, you know, not too much more correction. I go uh, chart save. Everybody who synced to my um, LA wave analysis just got it via Dropbox. Okay, crazy, crazy. The last thing that I'll show you is. I always have two wave counts. Okay, always have two wave counts. 
My red in this situation for the S&P is my ideal. And then if I click on this tab, here's the blue. Here's my alternate wave count. Each time frame, weekly, daily, 195 minute and 60 minute, each have two wave counts. And as I click, let's say I want to go check on the red count here. Watch, all of the charts will quickly change to red. As I click on the blue count, everything will very quickly change. So I have primary count, alternate count right at my fingertips. And as you're synced to my workspace, you're going to get the exact same thing. You can maintain a workspace in Motive Wave um, where it's just linked to mine and I'm doing the work for you. And you can watch as you go. And you can also maintain your own workspace to do your own LA Wave counts. But as I make a change and I go and say, listen, this bearish count in the S&P is really looking unlikely. I had to pull it all the way up. Um, I'm going to send that out to the cloud. And everyone who's synced to me just got that update. So the trading view software is good to start, but next level stuff, when you really start applying Elliot and you really want to learn how to do this, you got to step up. You got to step up. Okay. Uh, so that's the cloud sharing and repository. Um, I can update the accounts for you. All right. Okay, again, I, I'm, I, I'm trying to answer questions, but I'm gonna keep going. So, if you're interested, Motive Wave software, okay? It is the most advanced Elliott and Fibonacci charting software available anywhere in the world, hands down. Drastically shorten the, the long learning curve of Elliott, okay? I Literally, I'll be looking over your shoulder as you're doing Elliott, that's pretty much what it is. Quickly identify Fib reversal zones within the context of the Wave principle, leverage the latest technology to sync your Motive Wave software to mine. To help you fully, that slide is about 60 minutes old, two hours now, to help you fully maximize Motive Wave software, my team and I have developed a four hour training course to get you up to speed with Motive Wave. It's called the Motive Wave Educational Course. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Motive Wave done my way. It is a um, HD interactive step-by-step -step learning course to show you how to set up how to go from, from like very basics, how to download, download the software, hook in pricing data, set up your primary and alternate wave counts, set up your analysis files. It's from like A to Z, complete course. So Motive Wave, my way, new course. Um, let me adjust one thing for you. There's gonna be one live class. Okay, we're gonna do one live class as a follow-up. Okay, so it's 15 part inter interactive course. It will be archived, which is gonna be the live session, which will be in about two weeks from now. Okay, we're gonna do a live follow-up. Okay, so we'll all get together, Motive Wave owners, we will have a lineup um, session to answer any Q&As. We can do a screen share and I can show you what's going on. All right, so Motive Wave My Wave training course. Here is the actual course. It's 15 parts. Here's what it looks like. I'm showing you just the top part uh, in terms of the items. Um, it's fully interactive. In fact, I can show you the course here. Um, so. This is the course homepage. And again, this is just how to start and get completely up to speed with Motive Wave. Some of you have Motive Wave already, some of you don't. Um, so I have two offers for you here, whether you want the training only or if you're interested in Motive Wave course um, or you want to get both, we're going to make that offer to you. You'll have lifetime access to the Motive Wave educational course. So as you click into each section, the video is going to play. Uh, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. It's in full HD video, as you can tell. I like kind of getting into the technology. What's up, guys? Todd Gordon. I'm a screwball. What can I say? All right. So that's it. So, guys, if you're interested in the course or Motive Wave or both, here's what it looks like Motive Wave TA Ultimate Edition. I have my own trading analysis edition of Motive Wave. Okay. This is my Fibonacci ratios are color coded in a specific way. You'll get the TA adult ultimate lifetime license. The HD interactive course 
Okay, that's the Motive Wave My Way training course, 297. You're going to get the live Q&A session we're going to do two weeks from now. Plus, you're going to get access to the Motive Wave repository, which is you have the ability to sync your workspace, your Motive Wave to mine, so I can do the work for you as you're learning. Full retail value, it's easily worth over 2100 bucks. Okay. We will be, we do cryptos now, and we will be adding Forex, I think, this week. Today's price will drop it to 1732 for everything. But being that it's so nice out, being that it's the start of summer in the Northern Hemisphere, we're going to do the total package for 1634 for lifetime license for Motive Wave, the training course, live Q&A session, full access to the, to the repository, which is the cloud sharing. So I can update that for 1634. If you'd like, here's how you do it. You go to tradinganalysis.com. Yes, futures, right? Um, everything. Forex will be added this week. I actually stopped trading Forex for a long time just because it was so boring, but it's starting to get better again. So here's what you do. Motivewave.license. If you want the course only, only the course, let me show you how to do that. If you only want the HD course and you're already a Motivewave owner, Go to tradinganalysis.com forward slash mw.license. So let me drop those in there for you. Okay. Tradinganalysis.com forward slash mw.license forward slash. There's the link for mw.license. And that should bring up uh, this page right here. Okay. This is the Motive Wave license. 10% off. Okay. We're... We're getting you the software at $14.35 instead of $15.95. $14.35, you won't be able to get that right now anywhere else on the internet. Okay, $14.35 for the Motive Wave. And if you want the course, go to MW slash license. And let me, or sorry, MW dot, um, I, I misspelled that. Sorry, it's mw.course. Let me fix that. Hang on. Course. My programmer, if he's in here, he's flipping out at me. Here you go. Here's the here's the um, course only link. There we go. Mw forward slash course. That's going to get you the. Um, learning course okay of how to how to get into motive wave okay so tradinganalysis.com forward slash nw course let me write those out for you notepad okay so this is 199 course and this is license the dates for the live session, uh, they're going to be two weeks from now. Uh, when you purchase, you'll get an email with a with a login and a, a time reminder as to when that's going to be. And you'll also um, have the ability to uh, sign up for the repository. As you proceed through the purchase, you can get into the repository program. Okay, so it's tradinganalysis.com forward slash NW license for Motive Wave, or the course only is MW dash course. Um, Phyllis, when you purchase either one, it's going to give you the ability to sign up for the repository. Okay, let me hit questions. I, I know I, there's so many questions here. So let me just go through these guys. Sixteen thirty four altogether. MW dot license. MW dash license. And this will expire uh, Tuesday at midnight. If you have questions, there's our phone and uh, an email. Okay. Currencies are coming. Yes, futures. We track uh, crude oil. I can show you, in fact. Uh, crude, bonds, gold. Um, yes, futures. Doug. Um, okay, so good question there, Doug. And I didn't talk about it. Does Motive Wave require a data source subscription to run software like a broker? Yes. I run my Motive Wave off of TD Ameritrade. 
So, uh, in fact, let me just show you. And we show you how to set that up in the Motive Wave training course. Um, so, if I just do this, uh, in fact, let me just launch it. Shut down Motive Wave. Yes. I'll show you how. Yes, I feed and I trade right off of TD Ameritrade data because I trade on Thinkorswim, which is free, which is great. And it works absolutely fine. Okay, for stock data. Futures data, you have to have a subscription to something. So let me just bring this up. I can't bring the splash screen up. It's down here, but. Yeah, I can't bring it up in this monitor, but I'm I'm launching it. Here you go. Here's my TD Ameritrade login. So this is how I, I pump data into Motivate. For stock traders and ETFs, it's free and it's great. And there's everything is powered by TD Ameritrade and it's fast. You know, pull up the NASDAQ, like bam, it's up. Um, Netflix, bam, it's up. So yeah, it works well. Um, it, you know, I don't do Justin too much with harmonics, um, but it is available here in Motive Wave. You can go over here to Gartley, Gartley, Butterfly, Crab, Alternate Bat. It, you know, it, the, the basic Gartley pattern, uh, Justin, is just a wave two. So you go up in one, A of two, B of two, C of two. D wave is usually just wave two for wave three up. And then a uh, butterfly is just a wave. This is a wave three top. This is wave four. And that's wave five. So they do they do tie in well, but if you're doing the wave count, you don't really need them. But you can do it. Um, Google data for free, yes, as well. Yep, you can do that. I think Google is going to discontinue that, though, I heard. Or they're no longer supporting it. Uh, David, correct. Course 297 reduced to 199. You're correct, David E. Yep. Uh, sounds pretty good. I have the introductory TATBPT. How about an incentive to upgrade? Uh, yeah, they're already discounted, Mitch. I know. I I had to convince Tony to let us discount it because he only likes to do that discount during to the sales he does twice a year. But I was like, come on, I'm your best partner. And he, he did it. So yeah, discount. And Motive Wave course is... Um, is discounted as well. Uh, can wave four be an impulsive as a corrective leg? Uh, well, wave four is a correction. And this is what having context means. Um, let me see if I can come up with an example there. All right. Let's take wave two. Wave two is an ABC correction. Here's Facebook. Okay. So this is the three hour chart. I want to get inside of this guy. All right. So I want to get off the three. Let's get down to the one. Okay. Wave two itself is a correction. All right. And if I were to break this down, motive wave knows I'm trying to break down a wave two. So if I decompose, this is how you do it. Impulse, oops, impulse means trend. It's not even going to let me try to put that into a trend because it knows it's not a trend. It's a it's a correction. Um, so it's it's giving me the ability to select that. Wave two can never be a triangle, so it's not going to let me do that. Can't be a diagonal, can't be a, a leading ending diagonal. It can be a combination, so it'll give me that possibility, but it'll only make available what it can be. Correction, okay? And I do like to help it along a little bit. I have, you know, my feelings as to what the wave count should be. So wave two is a correction. Impulse will be a wave C. Okay. It can be a wave C. And that just comes with the knowledge of Elliot. Okay. In fact, I'm going to adjust that a little bit. See how quickly you can manipulate the wave count. And there we go. Five down in C. And then if I do an A versus C ratio analysis, C and A, went right to the 200%. Pin it. Okay. It's pretty it's pretty awesome. It uh computer, no, it's fine. I I I do it in all my, you know, I've got some old laptops and it's it works in everything. It's not that much of a resource hog. Uh what else we got? What else we got? Dave Greenspan in the UK. Um 
<laughs> There's a lot of questions there. Let me come back, Dave. Dave, uh, parentheses, or uh, comma B. Let me come back to it. Let me just get some easy ones, and I'll come back to you, okay? Uh, trace station data, yes, Harrison, yep. Um, yeah, you can use these signals as well. That is fine. No, Frank, there's no price on the repository yet. Uh, it's going to be, I, if you're a member, I think, I'm, or if you're a subscriber or purchase, I think I'm going to, it's going to wind up being free. But if you want to come in and get only repository, there will be a cost to that because you're basically getting my analysis in the research. I'm updating the wave count for you, which is my research. So there will be a cost if you want only repository going forward. It won't be 177, I'll tell you that. Yes, Patrick, you'll get Forex as well. Yep. When rescanning a wave, Angelo, when rescanning a wave from AutoWave, is it better to start from the same date or not? Why would you want to rescan, though? Angelo, give me more information on that question. It's interesting. Uh, Doug, is there a monthly cost for the depository after the initial purchase? You don't have to, Doug, but MotiveWave does offer um ongoing updates i think they charge 200 bucks a year tony's updating like every week um so you pay 200 bucks and as the software evolves which it's very evolved it's very well functioning you can buy future upgrades and get them forever at the 200 dollars a year if you like um or you don't have to it works as is perfect but if you, as Tony makes additions and new features, they're available to you. So there is a choice to get future, kind of future proof it for 200 bucks a year. Francis, uh, Tristan, are you here? Uh, just paid for the license and the training course but repository didn't show up as an option. Okay, uh, it should have been presented. If not, uh, we'll fire you an email. Um, everybody who's purchased and say, if you want to enroll in the repository, here's how you do it. Okay. And, and there's, it's actually right on my website too. Uh, and it's a $0 cost right now. So, uh, let me just show you. It should have been presented to you kind of in the funnel. Um, if you want to get in the repository, you just go to marketplace. And there's motive wave. Don't buy it here. Cause that's 1595. Uh, motive wave course. That's that. Oh, you know what? They, they took it off the homepage because they don't want, we don't want people who are not members to get this for free because right now the repository is free, which is my analysis. So we'll send you an email to enroll in the repository. You'll get it. Uh, Hunter, I'm, um, let me see. I'm interested in the course. I already have ultimate motive wave. Awesome. Can you show me the course outline again? Looking to see if it shows learning to scan. Uh, yeah. I didn't do much in scanning. I, Hunter, I'm going to be honest with you. I think, you know, if you're comfortable with the way, you know, here's the outline. Um, if you're comfortable with the way that, I set up my charts in terms of the primary and alternate count, um, red and blue, the different the different analysis files, um, and and exporting, importing workspaces, analysis files, and wave counts and stuff like that. If you're comfortable with all that and you're only looking for scans, it, I probably wouldn't. I didn't focus much much on scans. I do introduce them, um, and I can if you want. Now that you say it, it's probably something I should add. I will add another section on scanning, so that I'll, I'll promise you I'll do that because it, it should it should be in there. So your choice. I can't do it right now, but I will add that. I will add that in the course. Justin, how's the backflip training going? Um, good. You have to watch on YouTube, but good. Thanks for asking. I, I'm having a midlife crisis. I'm trying to do a standing backflip. By the time I'm 40, which is in February, and we're making good progress. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I believe Motive Wave does offer a 30 day money back. I believe they do. 
there's not on the course because I know it's good. The the $200 course, I, there's there's it. I, I know it's it's very well done. I'm very proud of it. I do need to add that scanning section, and I will. There's no money back on that, but the the money back on Motive Wave is going to be up to them. I don't know. Good question. Again, I know it works. I've used it for eight or nine years, so it's pretty awesome. It does exactly what it says. So if you're interested in what I have and what I'm doing here, then there you go, Justin. I recommend Motive Way for, it's great for learning in all parentheses. Uh, Hunter, Hunter T, uh, I'm sorry, remind me, what did I ask you? Usually 14 days, twice per year I've done. Uh, remote, remind me what question you're answering. Um, <laughs> How come the sale price not 1618? I know, I should have. It's just unfortunately, all I could do was 10% discount off a of Motive Wave, and I should have dropped the Motive Wave another, what is that, 15 bucks or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, Peter, I have, uh, yeah, Mac. I run on, I've got my full Mac over here. I do Motive Wave, and this is the old MacBook Pro 2013 um, that I run Motive Wave no problem on. Thanks, Jeff. Like the beard. It's, um, it's my January 26th challenge. The, the S&P, I just shaved it. I didn't shave it, but I knocked it back for TV. Um, <clears throat> the S&P has to take out the January 26th high, and then I can shave right there. <laughs> we're, we're a ways away. We're about, I don't know. 80 S and P points away. So NASDAQ's in new highs, but we got to get above that January 26th. If you want to know a little bit more about, um, the, uh, let's see. If you want to know more about the repository, I did a video about the repository, my account. I'll link you to it. <clears throat> Marketing videos, Motive Wave repository. It's 2.45. I don't know if you want to watch it now or later, but um, embed and share. Share link. There you go. I did a video from Fast Money. Um, talking about Motive Wave. Like, actually, I brought my Mac... to the NASDAQ. So that's, oh. Shut up, Todd. That's my Mac at the NASDAQ. So basically what I do is I sync my work here up to the repository. And then I, when I log in and go to TV, I just pull up my Mac and the counts are just done. And then I know what to talk about um, on TV. There's the NASDAQ. This was actually this week when I was doing Tesla. What's up, guys? Todd here with Trading Analysis. Um, so I'm at the NASDAQ here about to go on and do Power Lunch, talking about Tesla. But I'll All right. Well, I gave you guys that link if you want to watch that later. All right. What other questions you got? Um, should have been on the right. Yeah, no kidding. Or the NASDAQ. <laughs> uh, doo -doo -doo. Justin. Um. Well, you'll you'll rip Van Winkle. I'm calling it the ZZ Top, January 26th, the ZZ Top. But I can't let this thing go. I've I've CNBC would, it was yelling at me. Oh, the arm rich is good. Yeah, I caught myself moving a mirror. It's yeah, we're moving out, and I I dropped a big sheet of glass, and it went in my arm. Thanks. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know. I feel like this market's getting a, a good head, uh, head of steam here. Um, yeah, oh yeah. Background. You can change them. Um, all the, yeah. Backgrounds. I like black, but you can go, uh, configure preferences theme. You can go light. You can go night vision. And you have to restart Motive Wave to uh, to do that. And then I'm going to restart it. And yeah, you can change all the colors. Continue. So now it's all light. The, the the outline is light and then um chart settings uh dis how do we do this theme here we go you go light and there you go ah i just blinded myself and you got you can change the colors for the la wave counts as well oh man i haven't looked at white counts and or white charts in so long whoa that's wacky. Change the bars. Yeah. I just blew up my motive wave. <laughs> um, okay, what are the questions? Nasir, are, um, I'm sharing a repository. Cool, I can see all symbols, but can't see charts like SPX. Who's your data provider, Nasir? And we cover this in the training course. Who are you using? David, um, if you just drop an email, uh, Dave says, I already have the full version of MotiveWave. Please advise on obtain special coloring scheme. If you just drop an email to, I think it's support at Motive Wave, and CC me, just put Todd at Trading Nelson and say, I'd like to get the TA edition, I'll upgrade you. They'll they'll upgrade your edition for you. It's no problem. White counts of the 70s. <laughs> if you have TD Ameritrade this year, you know, just... Go through the, um, make sure you're using the same symbol, dollar sign SPX.X, and there's no reason it shouldn't, you know, get on Facebook and let us know uh, what is a problem. But uh, yeah, it should be, should be going. So what are the questions? Um, yes, lifetime. Yep, you have lifetime access to the course and Motive Wave. It is, if you want ongoing updates forever, it is 200 bucks. Okay. Uh, here's the course again. Let me pull this over. Motive Wave. You know, and, and I highly recommend the course. I think for my approach, I think we did a good job um, how to do everything right from scratch. If you're brand new, we do some LA wave. I do some live analysis in there too. I'm um, going through the S and P and showing you how to look at different counts. And there's a lot of LA wave training in there too. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty good. Fib preferences. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Good value there. And Terry long, who I really wanted to bring in here for some reason, it's not working is, uh, he was huge and helped me get this together. Uh, let's see. Okay. What other questions? Anything else? Anything else? All right. You guys are pretty good. Load motive wave back up. All right. Anybody else that I miss questions? I know I missed a lot in the beginning. Um, maybe just hit me again. And um, we're not candles. Um, I just think they're too messy. They don't do anything for me. You know, I mean, 
And when you're trying to do a good wave count, let me let me go back to dark white. You know, when you're trying to do a good Elliott wave count, um, I, I don't want to be kind of bombarded or, or you know, I don't, that it, it gets too messy. Candles are good if you're only using candles for like the last three or four bars for reversals. If, if we're down here in E wave of four, okay, I like to know that this is what a hanging man or gravestone doji or whatever the heck it's called. But once that bar or candles closed, I don't want to look at all candles the rest of the time. That it's too too messy for me. I like I like to use keep it simple with bars because I know that this is E of four down here. I knew that we should have some support here, um, so I don't use candlesticks. You can if you want, but I just like to do a wave count when it's just a clean chart. I like to try to keep things because you are going to have once you go down the path of of going towards the world of Elliot, you're going to have a lot of stuff in your charts. Okay. It's just going to happen. So, you know, do what you can to stay organized, I, I guess is, is my advice. I'm just doing this analysis for Monday. Yeah. Rots just decompose as an impulse. Sometimes you have to give motor wave a little help. Sometimes it will use the logic to automatically uh, do the wave count for you, but sometimes you got to give it a little assistance, which is fine. I don't want it. I don't want the computer to do all the work for me. That's your wave count right there in the market. Uh, I think we're coming into a wave four. Wherever we top out Monday, Tuesday, then we're going to set into a wave four, and uh, you don't want to be trying to buy this breakout. You can label the charts so quick. And I'm just, I'm right clicking, clicking, just hitting impulse. Motive Wave's doing the work for me. Okay. So that's that. Ideal is going to be 2786 coming into a wave four pullback. No, all four. So ideal is 2757 on June 13th for the pullback. While we're below 2786, we should do 2757 on June 13th. And I'll even put notes in there for you. So when, when my subscribers come in and say, they just get a note from me. Okay. Pretty cool. And then when they come in Sunday night or Monday morning, they're going to have that note from me on their charts. Okay. So that's it. If you're interested in the world of Elliot um, and want the tools, this is it. Um, Full time, full package, sixteen thirty four. If you bought Motive Wave off the website, their website now, my website's fifteen ninety five. So you know you get that. Plus, you basically going to pay forty bucks for the for the training course. You get ten percent off Motive Wave, whole package is sixteen thirty four plus the training course, which fully gets you up to speed. Um, it's a pretty good deal. Okay, so MW dash license off of tradinganalysis.com forward slash MW dash license. Let me give you that one more time. Uh, you have to install the software. It's not web-based. It is a downloadable. Um, it does, yeah, There's and there's so much stuff in this software that I, I didn't even talk about. I mean, it's got every indicator out there. It does have candlestick identification patterns. Like, it's got all of this stuff pre-built in. And I, I didn't talk about 90% of it. I only showed you what I use. Very easy install, Richard Right. Yep, good to see you too, brother. Uh, 
Uh, right on, Joe. Um, yeah, you're going to, if you bought the course, you, you can, you have access to this page right now. So you want to get through that. And then we're going to do the live session in just about two weeks. So when you purchase, you're going to get a username and password uh, to get into my members area. Welcome to Trading Analysis. And you will have access to the Motive Wave training course, which is right here, Motive Wave training course. You'll be enrolled and you can get started. And then we'll do the live session. When you got to work through this, um, and then each time you complete a session, it'll green check mark it for you. And, uh, and then we'll meet live and, and take care of it. Uh, yes, you can trade through Motive Wave. I don't do it, but you can. Um, you can actually trade right from the charts. <clears throat> so if I want to put a buy order in, I can just I can I can just do it right there. Um, and then my account, I don't use this part of Motive Wave. I like to just go to my trading platform. I like to keep them separate just for me, but you can absolutely trade um, from Motive Wave, and I can show it to you. Um, account. This is, there's my information. That's leftover option trades from our big butterfly that we had. Um, so just the 362 calls expired worthless. The rest of it was all profit. So yeah, I just showed you that. Yep, E-Trade is not linked, nope. Hey, Dale, a uh, high talk, great presentation. Thanks, you have major swing high and low zigzag patterns. I could auto place fibs. Yeah, you know, and I've told people that I'm gonna include those for free. I've gotta get the code to Tony in the Motive Wave. Um, in the trading analysis edition, I will make those available the the swing waves for free in um, in the TA edition. I can't give you a time frame on that. Um, I just I need to get the code up, and he's gonna make it a default in um, in Motive Wave. Okay, so let me see how we doing. We're gonna close this down Tuesday night uh, because there's going to be support issues. So you've got to have your order in by Tuesday night at midnight all right so let me see who has signed up uh let's see here's your sign up links again it's tradinganalysis.com forward slash mw course for the 199 course or um mw slash license for um the motive wave motive wave license all right You know, I I don't. Besides volume, to use RSI and stochastics in term determining weight position. No, I really don't. Um, who asked me that, uh, Michael? I don't. Um, you know, I I you don't need an indicator flipping up if you know you're at the end of a, an Elliott correction. Anyways, they can help you confirm, but it just confirms what you already know, right? What you already know. All right, good. Wow, a lot of people get involved in this. Well done, guys. Very nice. All right. Nice. Good job, guys. Um, upgrades, you got to pay the $200 a year for free upgrades. Free upgrades. It is $200. 100 just went to the website, doesn't show the course. Just, it's, uh, you want the, Hunter, you want the course? The course is, uh, let's see, where is it? This guy right here. If you want course only, here you go. This is course only. There's the link. Or if you want Motive Wave itself, 
Here you go. Hunter, I just I just gave you the link right right in the chat window. Can you see that chat window? Or do you see this link I keep flashing up here? MW slash uh, uh, dash course. Do you see this, Hunter? Right here. Go there. Oh, okay. Copy. Let me just make sure. Let me just drop in a web browser and see what you see. Yep, course details. Um, how to get both, okay? Go here, okay, MW license to get the course or to get the to motive wave and go here to get the course. We haven't set a price in repository yet. Um, we've only we've offered it to free for our members. We haven't put a price on it yet, but we will. I promise. Oh, sorry, Hunter. Okay, issues. Try that. Okay, cool. Uh, crypto. I'll show you what's going on in crypto. And we have crypt. We have the cryptos. I didn't even show you, but we have cryptos set up. Let me take the webcam off. Uh, cryptos. So here's my crypto workspace. I think Bitcoin is in big trouble. Um, and everyone has access to the repository on, on cryptos as well. And oh, here's another thing I completely forgot to tell you guys. Motive wave is synced. It has a data provider for cryptos. It's free. Everybody comes with the ability to look, to load all cryptocurrencies in there, um, in motive wave. So everyone has access to it. I think we're going to have, um, I think we're going to have one more rally up in uh, X wave of uh, this triangle. And I, I think, I think we're in trouble. I, I do think we're going to break through 5,000. There's the resistance in E wave versus D. So you take D versus E and you can also do E versus C and come up with a fib zone. So this is your zone of resistance, 8,000 and 9,000, if we can even get up there. And then at that point, I think Bitcoin goes down into this big FIB zone, sub 5,000. So everybody who's hooked into me on the repository is now getting that update. I, I think cryptos, the bounce is pathetic, unfortunately. I have a long Bitcoin cash position. Uh, here it is on the three hour. It has to hold, has to hold uh, this C wave low, which is going to be wave count validation is going to be at 1086. Got to hold that. I'm long from 1040 stop loss at a uh, thousand right now uh, with our subscribers. But this whole space is getting me very nervous. Um, Mitch, this is this is from the cryptos. It's cool. It's a it's a composite. Um, it's called Crypto Compare, and it takes a composite, and gets a composite price of all the major exchanges. So it's really good, and it's free, and it comes preloaded on Motive Wave. So you get everything. I got EOS, I've got Litecoin, Ripple, Stellar, Monero, Dash, everything. And this is my alternate count in Bitcoin, which says we just go lower. And I think this is probably going to play out. I'm about ready to go short. All right. So that's that, guys. It's pretty fun. Careful. When you get bit by the bug, it, it, it bites you hard. <laughs> It'll change the way you look at charts. But it's fun. Justin, do you use 195 chart settings? Why do you do it? Because it's half of one stock market day. Stock market is open 360 minutes a day. If you take 360 and divide by two, wait, 6.5 times 60 minutes is 390 minutes. 390 minutes per stock market day divided by two is 195 minutes. So stock market's open 6.5 hours a day times 60 minutes is a 390 minute chart divided by two. So a half day bar is 195 minutes. Uh, 
Uh, Rich, I think the repository is going to be less than a hundred bucks because again, it you have it. I've got to charge something for it because you could just get the repository and know exactly where I am in the S and P and all the markets that we're trading. So I, it can't cannibalize my subscription service. Um, so it's probably going to be around a hundred bucks a month just to have your yearly wave count updated, which I think is fair. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go hang out with the family. I think we're going to the Buffalo farm and go do something there. I don't know. <laughs> My wife's got it planned. So, guys, again, tradinganalysis.com forward slash MW course. Here's what you get in the course. 15 interactive sessions. Oops. Live session two weeks from now, archived later for viewing. It's HD interactive learning, kind of advanced stuff that other e-learning people aren't. This is the future of, of online. This is the future of education. Uh, so I'm, I've really embraced that with the technology. Nice presentation. It'll track your progress through the course. Um, All together worth over 2000 bucks, but we can get you done for just over 1634 um, I can only discount Motive Wave by 10%. It's out of my hands. Um, but you're essentially getting the my training course for less than 50 bucks. So that's that. All right. MW Dash License. Guys, hope that was uh, enjoyable and um, hope you picked up a thing or two. I really enjoyed it. And uh, guys, I wish you a happy rest of the weekend. And uh, let's look forward to more volatility. William, yes, desktop, and I've got it on this laptop. I've got it on the laptop over there. I've got it installed on every computer I have. Yep. All right, guys, girls, thanks. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, and I will catch you real soon, okay? All right, see you guys.